right, it's summertime here in Maryland. It's 90 degrees and the humidity's up. So I decided to go get a haircut. Just one of them. This is my normal look that I normally have. Most of the year, yeah, right. I cut my hair a couple times a year. But most of the time I do it is uh, in March. I do a, uh, a charity event that I, I host or anything like that. I don't do it. I'm just part of it. The uh, St. Baldrick's Foundation. So I normally get my hair cut around March sometimes. And up till that, up till today, that was how much it's grown back. That was about three, let's say about three months of growth. Um, but yesterday it was really, really, really hot here, and today it was also. And so I decided instead of just sweating profusely, that I decided that I needed to get some of that rug off the top of my head. And it feels much better now. And all that good stuff. So, projects that I've worked on the last couple days. I've uh, almost finished the Hypercube print with uh, some Cosmic Blue PLA with the last couple pieces that I printed. Um, plan on building that with Ron and I think I told him it's not staying at the house so I don't know where it's going but we go from there when that time comes. But So I sat there and did that and I've got did most of it on the on the minis. Um, the one that's on the, the 0 0.4 millimeter nozzle, the DDD material, the 3D material one from uh, one of the Kickstarter backers that we did, and the other one is a 0.8 millimeter stainless steel nozzle that I swapped out, readjusted everything, and. And that's why I do some of my quicker prints on the minis with. I still have it printing at the same speed because it keeps up with everything. It still has the same um, replacement extruder that I put on there. It's one of the ones that printed from uh, Thingiverse. That uh, I don't even remember who did it, but it's one of the highly recommended ones that I definitely tell you to print one. I printed one for uh, all the minis that I have, and then I printed one for Ron out of uh, carbon fiber PETG I think is what I printed it out of and uh, threw it on his and he hadn't had any problems with his either it's they're uh, very solid little uh, remakes and they are printable so I definitely look into doing that I might put the link I don't know everybody says I put a link in the description well sometimes I forget what I even talk about in that video until I go back and look at it so um, so yeah, I printed those and got the most of that done in a little box. Um, next up is I got the extrusion, so that's that's already done. We need to uh, source out the hardware, like the uh, five millimeter drop ins and the hammer nuts and stuff like that, the T nuts, whatever you want to call them. And I've got I want to say I got a ten meter roll of. Uh, belts and uh, pulleys so the next thing be like bearings and all the little miscellaneous stuff the guy uh, that designed the hypercube put up a very extensive uh, build log and also a um, build of materials list so it's easy to source it just click on the Amazon affiliate links that he has on there and get them out so I'll do that slowly. Get them in here. That's supposed to be a said it's a build that we're going to do for a project in the near future. Other than that, that's about all I've been to, all flying drones. I've been flying drones with my daughter. Um, a buddy of mine had a, a AR AR drone parrot, so I got that from him gotta figure out how to fly it because it's on uh, strictly touch screen and stuff like that on your phone which is pretty neat but when I'm used to driving uh, RC cars or even flying this drone that we just got with a uh, stick control it's 
a little bit different, but it does hover very well, and it does stay in um, stable. I just got to get get the hang of it and stuff like that. To take the uh, electronics out of it, clean them up, make sure that they're uh, level and stuff like that. Because of uh, some of the things that I've been looking at, that's a big problem when they won't uh, respond or whatever. I'm not having a response problem. I just want to make sure that it's not me that's having the problem just yet. Um, picked up a little uh, little micro. That's smaller than what I think. It was like a husband or something like that. A little small, goofy one. Then I'm gonna gut most of it and put it in a frame that I printed, and go from there and do uh, an FPV. I think it's there 120 millimeters, or 100 millimeters, something like that. They're real small. They're only like this big. And uh, go from there and see how that turns out. The um, the advantages of having the printer and stuff like that is I can print parts if I need if I break anything or whatnot. But we'll see how that rolls out. And um, that's about it. See you.